Hey there, friends. How you doing? Welcome to Solvine. This is Jamie, and we are checking in for your energies, Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. I hope you're feeling pretty good. I think the energy just has been a little all over the place um, connecting into it. I think um, Pisces, just the way that you connect with things and people, you may be right now taking on a lot of energy around you, being quite empathic. So just be mindful of that if you are going through a little bit of, I'll say roller coaster in a sense, like feeling good and then feeling like a little bit in your feels and then feeling okay again, then maybe doubting and then coming back into your strength. Uh, I just feel right now there's a lot of shift energetically. And as we move through this last bit of November, um, I feel like things will, will begin to level out and there could be a little bit of a restructure when it comes to potentially your financial aspect and romantial, romantic aspect as well. You know, just wanting to ground into that where it feels more secure and making decisions that seem more long term. So you, you could be in quite a shift of doing that, especially with Venus in Capricorn for the next three weeks. You might be finding that that's quite on your mind or something you're working through as we're coming out of Scorpio season as well. And as you can appreciate, Pluto moving into Aquarius. So again, lots happening. And then we've got the full moon. So you feel me, friend, right? Because I feel you. So first energy, guys, we've got through is the Four of Swords. Interesting. When I first saw this, I thought it was the Nine of Swords. So let me connect into it and see what this is about for you. The world energy. We've got the creator energy. Okay, there's a bit of a shift going on. Strength energy. I feel like there's, you know, definitely things opening up for you. And at the same time, the energy just feels like a bit of a an ocean right now. You know, like you're right out on this boat going somewhere and it's free flowing with the waves. And that's how the energy feels. And that's kind of the visuals that I'm seeing. Got the high priestess. One more. It's too many. Oh, it's given us what I needed. Oh, look, and we've got the sun on the bottom. Nice. Okay. So feeling the bumps, feeling the waves. All right, friends. So the main energies that are coming through right now and again, just connect to what resonates for you and manifest the things that you do wish to manifest. And if you sometimes are connected to the readings and feel something in your body, it's usually asking you to pay attention. But again, too, um, sometimes naturally it's connecting into our fears, but is it our intuition? And sometimes discerning that is, you know, not the easiest of things, but I think your, your body and your higher self does know the truth in terms of situations. Okay. So, you know, be patient with self and I'm here to support your journey as best as I can. Obviously this is a general, you know, reading and session. If you do want to book a private one-on-one -on -one or, um, that's in person or in addition to me doing a recorded session for you. It is currently opened. I've opened the gates for that um, this week and we'll be closing at the end of the week. So again, that's details are inside the soul collective. If you want to check it out, cause I only have a few spots left. Okay. Four of swords, the world, the creator energy. Yeah. You might may have been on a bit of time out. Um, taking care of yourself with this four of swords energy. Maybe you have been feeling a little bit exhausted, a little bit tired and just needing to recharge. And this can be a great thing because what I am seeing is this is recharging you on purpose for a reason. Um, this, this is preparing you for what's opening up next. Okay. I think, you know, timing's been a factor. I do feel like what you're calling in is a factor. Your manifestations are all a factor here in terms of this evolution that you're going through. The creator energy is letting you know a lot is around divine timing. A lot is about what you are really wanting. And sometimes spirit is going to put 
knows and stops and roadblocks in the way to get you where you're meant to go. So spirit's asking if that's how you're feeling right now, like you're trying to make progress and progress just seems to be taking forever, or you feel like you're on a path. Like we, you know, yesterday's reads, like these paths are opening, these gateways are opening, but it's just like, why can't I bloody just get in it and start that journey? And it's, I know it can be a little bit frustrating, but in saying that you're allowed to be frustrated Okay, but again, how do we shift that energy to get more into alignment with the things that we do want, which is on an energetic frequency, which which helps you manifest. So spirits asking you to hang in there, maintain your confidence, maintain your courage, keep doing what you need to do to support this next journey or next chapter that you're on, because there's something that you're calling in, but you're also being asked not to be, um, you know, I think not not to be hard on yourself because you do feel tired or not to be hard on yourself because you want to do things for yourself. It's interesting because a lot of conversations I've been having lately, a lot of people are really taking back and recognizing how important it is to look after themselves. And it's not just, you know, okay, going for a walk or something of that nature, which I think is very helpful. But I feel like a lot of people have just been going, 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 fixing, 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 supporting, 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 and not doing it for themselves. And I think people are becoming more aware of, you know what, this is my season. This is my period and I'm going to look after me. And I just, I think that's just really, really wonderful, you know, and I know sometimes it can be, you've got so many other things going on, but finding that time for yourself is going to be really, really critical here. And if you need to rest rest because this is again setting you up for some form of success I like we have the king of cups in the middle here it's letting us know that you're coming quite into balance emotionally I think um too for some of you I don't know if you're dealing with a a masculine energy who's a water sign Scorpio Pisces Cancer but here there is someone here connected that may not be you know fully sharing um, how they're feeling or what they're connected to. I think it's really interesting. You've got both the moon and the high priestess coming out here with this king of cups, as well as the four of wands and the chariot energy. So again, this is what I'm talking about, preparing for something huge that wants to come through. And I know the frustration of you guys, because sometimes you put in the comments or, you know, and I do know that it's that frustrating laugh giggle because it's also like, you can feel it, but it's like, where is it? And I feel like something here that you know, but that may also like you can't see yet or that you're trying to navigate. Maybe you're having some dreams. Maybe, yeah. I don't know if you're dreaming about someone actually. But pay attention to your dreams. And and I don't know if you have a dream journal. I have an online one um, that I use. I think it's called Oniri or something. Um, And I put, they changed the name to it. And sometimes I'm like, oh, how do I find it in my phone? Because I just search. Um, but yeah, I know it starts with, O. I think it's on Niri, um, which I'm sure is some language that means something to do with dreams, but, um, the moon, the high priestess, the four of wands of the chariot, some path is opening up, some gateway is open up, some connection, king cups, four of wands, happy, connected, love, um, but also something that is not out loud yet or someone's not sharing yet or someone's not expressing yet, but they will, this will come forward. And then you have the sun energy. Shall we, shall we peek what's under the sun? Shall we? The emperor, four of cups, queen of pentacles, seven of cups, the hermit, and then the queen of cups. Okay. So as you guys know, I don't read reversals. Um, it just would have been the way that I put put them in the deck. But um, I feel like someone's getting clear on their path forward. I do feel like someone may be connecting to a divine masculine or a masculine energy or partnering with a masculine in some way. It seems right now that... You could be unsure about about something here and and questioning it and trying to connect into if this is where you're meant to be. But it's interesting because I, there's the doubt that may be there. It's also like 
you don't want to miss out on this thing. So I'm not sure what the doubt is exactly, but that's what it seems to be coming up. But again, something will be opening. I don't know if you're waiting to hear from someone on something, um, but it, yeah, it just seemed like something seems really promising here, guys, whatever this is and whoever you're connecting to. So let's just take a little peek on what's underneath all this in terms of the influential energy and where this is going. And then we'll dive into the extended if you feel called to join us there. All right. So let's have a look at what is in the sun's still on the bottom. Okay. We've got the Knight of Cups. Well, that's nice. We'll take the Knight of Cups, shall we? So there's some offer or proposal coming on in. Ooh, judgment. So let's see where this is going. It's like you're waiting on something. Queen of Swords. Well, you get the you get the clarity you need. You get the truth of something. But what is that truth? What is that understanding? Is this also a part of you that's choosing to cut out something particular from your life? Um, I'm getting a bit more no-nonsense energy here, which I don't mind, Pisces, when you do step into that. Um, we do have Mars in Leo, so that could be too. If certain things aren't in alignment, you could be just disregarding them right now. Um, let's see where this is taking us. Where is this energy taking us? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, you've got the Knight of Wands. I'm going to put that back, but we've got the Ten of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Magician. So there's something that is around. You've got the Page of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So something that you're learning or looking at or that's being shared with you it seems like there's just this little bit of I don't know if it's uncertainty, but it just seems to be a bit more around it's like there's something that you, you're feeling connected to with this Knight of Wands energy, something that seems to be exciting, but it's like it's still in its infancy phase and maybe you're not you're not wanting to go all in even though something's approaching you or coming towards you. Maybe there's a little bit of fear of going all in. Maybe you don't have enough information yet and you're seeking more information. Let's just get one more. Let's get a couple more just to see where else this is taking us. Okay, so the emperor has come out. So, I mean, whatever needs to come in is coming in. This is for sure. I think... Again, I don't know if you're doing there's some project that you're working on or waiting on some result around something, but whatever's coming through, I think there's some understanding about an opportunity or a connection and they can come be hand in hand. Some of you, I do feel this could be around, again, some project or something that you're putting, wanting to pursue or wanting to connect into, or it could be a relationship. Uh, whatever that is, it's like you want to... You either want to fix this, you want to heal this, or you want to just be in a place where you feel like you're stronger in terms of your own way forward within yourself. This is more about you right now wanting to clear out some old shit, clear out some things that just haven't been working 
favorably for you. But I feel like this is part of the resting phase because I think sometimes, and I did mention this yesterday, subconsciously we can work through things, not realizing, you know, through our dreams or just through rest, right? It's like sometimes it's just we need that rest to heal. And when we come out of it, we can come out of that rest phase just with a different view of things, right? Like sometimes we can have our own little epiphanies in those resting moments. And I just feel that things are shifting for you here, Pisces. And I think you feel the shift coming if you haven't you know, progress in a certain direction the way that you want to in full. But what I am seeing is, is that there is something here that you're feeling quite connected to, but also balanced and at peace with, with this King of Cups energy, because there's strength there. But amongst this strength, there's just this certainty of things are going to be okay. And things are supportive. Like there's just this balance within you that I feel is um, present. And what I like too, is usually then life reflects on that. And so whatever's coming in or presenting, being presented to you, I don't know Again, if there is something right now that hasn't been revealed or shared yet, or it's still in the process of, but I do feel like something is opening up here or there is a path that's going to present itself that you get to move forward in. But at the end of the day, you get to choose whether you move forward with that or not. You get to choose whether you want to accept, you get to choose if you want to put yourself forward, if you want to apply, if you want to engage, like that's really up to you and the way that you do it. So there is some offer. There is some proposal here. Um, there is some, you know, interest being expressed and wanting to, it's waiting for your feedback. There's something waiting for your feedback here. And that's what, you know, that's what's showing here. And the queen of swords can come in two parts. The queen of swords can be a singular energy. So maybe there's a decision deciding, you know, if this is meant for you. It's also about communication. It's also about clarity. And it's also trusting your intuition. The queen of swords do not underestimate. The queen of swords is a very powerful energy intuitively um, and understanding oneself. They're, but they're connected in a different way. They try not to get too connected to their emotional state, but they're also a balance with their emotions, right? They just may not dig as deep emotionally to make decisions. So they need to make sense of things. There's also a lot of balance in the energy. Okay. When I think of liberant energy, air energy. So you're in a quite a profound state of, of stepping forward here. But what happens amongst that is if you don't have enough information, this is where sometimes the frustration kicks in. It's like, I want to make a decision, but I feel I don't have enough information that is satisfying me to make this decision. And I feel that could be what is stressing you out here or that you're trying to gather information and it's not enough yet to be able to progress forward the way that you would like. So maybe things are moving a bit slower, um, but I do feel you're getting progress and things are moving forward because this Knight of Wands is kind of letting us know the energy is there. You've also got the four of wands of the chariot. The energy is there. The determination is there. The aspiration is there. So what's happening in between, only you will know in terms of your life and situation, but I can just see that there's either more information being shared or looked at or trying to be gathered here. It could be too, like what's been shared hasn't been shared in the best sense with the Page of Swords because sometimes the Page of Swords, they can be younger and they can actually be ambitious, but sometimes too, maybe the way it's coming across, it just, to remember here too with this energy, she's actually holding the blade. So you could be finding that the information that you're getting is kind of like a double-edged sword, right? damned if you do, damned if you don't energy. Um, but it also seems like someone is willing to sacrifice certain things to get what they need in terms of information here, right? Or willing to listen or share in the way that's needed to, even if sometimes there's, you know, those paper cuts along the way. So just be, yeah, just be mindful of what communication is happening right now. Um, I don't know if some of you do have a legal matter going on um, or something with a boss or a, a significant person in your life that carries a little bit of weight in terms of how things make you feel or what they say. Like this person in your life, I feel has some pretty significant, um, I'll just say weight, meaning 
resonance in your life the way that, yeah, whoever they are, whether it's a father figure, whether it's, you know, a spouse, a boyfriend, um, just somebody here, like they matter in some way. And, or you've allowed them to matter at some point in time in your life, but it's bothering you. There's something there bothering you or stressing you out. I mean, the emperor could be feeling that way themselves, but we will dive in more in the extended. But what I do like as, as coming through, as working through this, and when you get a little bit more out of your headspace and drop in to, I feel like dropping into what it is that you want and need. So seven of pentacles, wheel of fortune, queen of cups, again, the lovers, new beginning, and then tower. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of you are trying to start and get ahead, but at the same time, you're, you're finding roadblocks in the way of what you're trying to achieve. And that's probably the frustration because again, rest, momentum. And I, I think we spoke about this in the monthly read. It's like progress, 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 stop, 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 progress, progress, stop. So I think you're feeling it and you might be in the thick of it. It's just, it's taken its time, but when it arrives, you're going to, you're going to have it in your hand. Right. But, um, in the meantime, this, there's, there's other things going on here. So let's see what is being hidden right now and what is coming up, what this communication is and looks like and how we can kind of alleviate, um, this pressure or stress that you're feeling and see where this is going to take us. So I'm going to dive into the extended. If you want to join us there, it is the, second sorry for extenders it's the first link below um, and if you wanted to ca catch up with the uh, manifestation sheet and get into the energy update uh, it is the second link below and I will forward you the private access to the soul collective group much love friend bye